Hi everyone, uh, in this lecture we are going to cover the designing of combinational circuits. As in my previous lecture I was talking about the designing procedure of the combinational circuits and I have given some examples of the combinational circuits. So we will see how to design based on the designing procedures. So now we will see the first designing combinational circuit what we have here is the adders. So as we are saying all about the adders. Now the adders is the one which is going to add the 2 bits or 3 bits. So based on the summation it is having 2 types of adders. One is a half adder the other is a full adder. Now first as we have said that based on the specifications whatever they are giving or the definition whatever they are giving we will be designing and uh, step by step process. So first let us proceed with the half adder. So how they have defined the half adder is a half adder is a combinational logic circuit with two inputs and two outputs. The half adder circuit is designed to add two single bit binary numbers. Let us take the two numbers as A and B. And it is a basic building block of addition of two single bit numbers. So this circuit is having output carry and a sum. So what they have defined is a half adder is the one which is going to add 2 bits and when they are adding 2 bits that is single bits they are going to get 2 outputs one is sum the other is a carry. Now determining the number of the first step what we have here is according to your designing procedure uh, that is like uh, identify the number of inputs and outputs. So here the inputs inputs what we have is 2 inputs 2 1 I am taking it as A the second one I am taking it as B. Now the number of outputs I need to identify the outputs also right. So outputs what we have here is again 2 the one is sum the other is carry. So total 2 inputs A and B and uh, we have the outputs as sum and carry. Now after identifying your inputs and outputs next I need to go for the truth table. So here I have the truth table uh, for your uh, half adder. Now as these two A and B are my inputs the maximum combination what we have is as we have said about the single bits. So 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. Now I need to add these two such that I am getting two outputs that is sum and carry. Now 0 plus 0 the sum is always 0 and carry is 0. 0 plus 1 sum is 1 and carry is 0. 1 plus 0 sum is 1 and carry is 0. 1 plus 1 the sum is 0. Sum is 0 and carry is 1. Why? Because 1 plus 1 the uh, procedure is like 1 plus 1 means 1 plus 1 is 0 and the carry 1 that will come here so this is your binary 2 so we are having a sum 0 and carry as 1 okay now after getting your truth table next my intention is to draw the block diagram now uh, how to draw the block diagram for the given uh, uh, truth table now as I said the half adder contains two inputs one is A the other is B and I have the outputs one is sum the other is a carry right so this is how the third step is drawing a block diagram once the block diagram is completed now the next part what we have here is the uh, simplification of boolean expression of for each output in your K map now as we have the sum equation sum is equals to that is it is the outputs here we have 1 for 0 1 and 1 for 1 0 so I can write it as a bar that is a bar b plus this one is a b bar so uh, if I put it into the k map to variable k map two variable came up that is a and b now i am doing the simplification for your uh, uh, sum so this 
so I'm going to get 0 1 means 1 here and 1 here there is no possibility of simplification this is nothing but your XOR gate A exclusive B now coming to the carry so carry uh, we have if you see the equation uh, the output function it is having only single term right so the carry can be written directly that is 1 is nothing but carry is equals to AB that's it so I have two functions that is sum is A exclusive B and carry is AB now the final step is to draw the circuit based on your given expressions now as my sum says that XOR gate can be used for your sum so I am using an XOR gate the two inputs A and B and this is my sum sum which is equals to A exclusive B now I have a carry which is AB now what I do is simply I will take two inputs A and B as it is a product I am using an AND gate such that my carry is equals to AB so this is how I am designing a half adder combinational circuit from the given specifications even we can also go like this uh, this is one uh, more method uh, to draw the half adder that is taking A and B now as I said that is A bar B so I am taking A bar and B giving to one AND gate next one is A B bar one more AND gate and these two inputs I am giving it to uh, one OR gate to give your sum and carry directly A and B if I give it to one AND gate that is your carry both the ways uh, we can represent uh, the logic circuit of your uh, half adder but most preferably we are going to use the simplified circuit that is an XOR gate with your AND gate so this is how we are designing one half adder uh, using your uh, given specifications Thank you.